Howdy. Let's now take a look at a couple of problems that deal with springs. Now, in number one, a small block, mass m, is attached to a spring which is connected to the floor. The unstretched length of the spring is L. The mass is released from rest at a point where the spring is unstretched. The spring is not a perfect physics 218 spring, but instead has a magnitude of the force exerted by the spring, and it's K1 times the amount the spring is stretched or compressed, plus K2 times the cube of the amount this uh, stretched or compressed. And so in this case, the force of the spring is going to be K1 times the amount it is uh, stretched or compressed, plus K2 times the cube of the amount that it is stretched or compressed, where K1 and K2 are known positive constants. How far down will the block go before starting back up? An equation for the distance is sufficient, but do not solve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw my free body diagram. That way I can see my forces. So in your free body diagram, you have mg going down. You have no normal force, you have no friction, because I have no surface. And you've just got the f of the spring coming up. Now since I'm only going down and I want to see how far down do I travel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this initial position y equals zero. I'm going to say down is the positive y direction and this y equals yf is what I'm looking for. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to first find my network. This is the integral from R1 to R2 of F dotted with dr, which is mv squared over 2 at R2 minus mv squared over 2 at R1. But notice that at your initial position, your velocity 0 starts from rest. And I want to see how far does it go before it comes back up. At your final position, this will also be 0. Both your final and initial velocities are zero, so the network done is zero. The next thing you do is we know that our network, which by the way is zero, is going to be the integral. I'll be integrating from y equals zero to some y equals y f final position. Then I look at my forces, and mg is doing positive work on this system because I'm setting the positive y axis downwards because that's the direction of motion. So this would be the mg minus the force of the spring. Uh, well, I guess I did k1x because I'm just kind of used to that with springs. Here we're going to actually make these uh, y's. So we're going to make this a y. And we're going to make this a y cubed. So it'll be minus k1y minus k2y cubed because we're integrating with respect to y. And so, what you would say is that 0 is equal to, and the integral of all of this is just mgyf, because obviously when I plug in 0, it'll just be minus 0, minus k1yf squared over 2, minus k2yf to the fourth over 4.